Hello, everyone. Um, hello, welcome. Welcome to the Goose Stream. I had a curtain put up now. I will need to put the other curtain up as well because we're still getting some glare from the other window. But it's less of a problem now. Anyway, it is lunchtime and I found something I haven't seen in a long time. What oh, shit does? By a company called Great Food Affairs. I just have these a lot when I was a kid. Um, what's well, that kid? In college, they used to be like a pound a bag. I don't know what i now, but like. I used to get one of these and like a big bottle of uh, like a drink or something. Um, before, uh, during the lunch break at college, and I just eat these. <laughs> and have a big drink in, in class. Um, it was, it was funny. But these are great for like pasta and stuff, or putting things on. But they're also just great with by themselves. So I found these are the garlic parsley ones. They also do like a tomato and some smun dried tomato and like herb style one. These are much better. Um, these are the fire cool. Let's see if they hold up. So they are just literally oiled, like olive oil crisp press. Let's see. In there like that. More like this. Some crispy bread boys. You know you get a huge quantity of them, I guess 150 grams, which is not terrible, it's about the same as a big bag of crisps. Mm. Mm. And they're just, they're just crunchy garlic bread. Mm. They're also vegan friendly, turns out apparently. That looks at things. That's great. Mm. Mm. I can confirm, just as good as they used to be. These are just garlic and parsley, but it's just, it's basic. But the quality by no means has not gone down at, at all. It has not gone down at all. Yeah, it's just flour, seasoning, honey, all over it. But like, sunflower oil, garlic and salt, 100%. High, like, sunflower oil, yeast, salt, barley, 100% sugar. Make and train take trace of peanuts, milk, sesame, soy, mustard. Okay, that's a bit annoying. But these are just... Mm. So good. Good for a snack with pasta or pizza or like you put salmon and stuff on them. Like volivants, not volivants, kind of like volivants. Entrees. The garlic's not too overpowering. Nothing overstays its welcome flavor wise. They're never not crunchy, unless I guess you buy them stale like an idiot. Not that you would. Italian toast, basically. Kind of like French toast, but Italian. Like, I kind of in my head knew these were 10, but it's been like five years since I've seen them. Still alive. I'm like, yeah, no, actually, it's been about five years since I've last seen these in stores. I used to do them in B&M all the time. These I found an Aldi a special buy, so they'll probably disappear like again. Which is a shame. These are so good. And it's not like one pound ninety, which is a bit expensive compared to what they used to be, but still worth it for like a video. Might be an occasional treat. And I guess you make a couple of meals out of it somehow, like with some sides or whatever. It's good. Mm. Definitely ten though. I guess you could make these relatively simply yourself, I guess, with enough oil and like ready stuff. I guess they're not like too out there. But it's one of those things where it's like it's a simple thing but it's done really well. Anyway, I'm going to finish this bag probably. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to have some interesting stuff coming up soon.
as well as many, many more streams. Well, stream bots. So, bye bye for now, everybody. Have a good day. Don't forget to let me know what you want to see me uh, review in the future. And I'll be back soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.